Hey boardies, welcome to Mass Games. My name is Simon. This is only a review as well as an unboxing, teaser, trailer, preview, overview video for the Dice Game Sagrada. This is an abstract strategy game. If you want to see the weight, you can see that right now. It's 1,020 grams. This is by Daryl Andrews and Adrian Avanescu, and it is published by Floodgate Games, which really did do a massive implementation in improving this game from a point of view of how you integrate things, how you slide in cards and etc. So you want to see my full how to set up play and review. There's also going to be another video, another component that I'll be doing an unboxing for, as well as that how to set up play and review in a bit as well, relating to how well the five to six play expansion works and just player duration, scalability, stuff like that. So if you've seen other games by Floodgate Games, you'll also find that in my playlist for Floodgate Games, such as for Holy, which you can find me how to set up play and review for. Also that unboxing teaser trailer preview video as well. So like that, gives you a chance of what's coming to the channel soon. As I mentioned, I have already played this, my review. At the very least is a seven out of 10. So you've got some pieces in here. Are you happy? They can let you know. So that's for the Cosmic Colonies. I first saw it in that one there. And you've got a digital edition. So maybe you want to check out that too. Check out my Board Game Arena playlist as well. Lovely glass beads here. We've got some stickers as well. I haven't yet played the Legacy one. I've got lovely large bags. You can see how big my hand will fit in nicely in that too. We've got these lovely stained glasses. So I have been to Sagrada Familia, which is about 250 years away probably from still being completed. We have a score mark over here as well. And as you can see, the rule sheet is very small, literally that photosynthesis small. So there's a few objectives, things that you're trying to complete, maybe based on the color, maybe based on difficulty, also based on the number on the die shown. If you wanna see how far dice roll, I also have a playlist for that too, up to at least 73 now. And actually see basically whether or not you might need a dice tray. These actually are quite easy to open if you do have a knife like this, which is good to know because sometimes I really do struggle with opening these up. Any questions, please let me know in YouTube at best. As you might have noticed, I'm actually got a slightly different angle going on for this particular video because I'll be demonstrating volumes very soon in the next few minutes and it's set up deliberately for quite a high player count. Now, you can get inserts, which I'm very keen to get. Equally though, these dice do fit very nicely in here. It's one of the best examples of actually having dice fit in there too. And yeah, what's the end of the game? Well, to get the high score. So let's talk about the overview. You are an artist competing with fellow artists to create the most beautiful stained glass windows in the Sagrada Familia. Your glass pieces are represented by dice, which have a color and a shade, indicated by the value on the die, and also the lower value is the light of the shade needed as well. So each round, players will take turns drafting from a pool of dice, placing these dice on their window, and players must place them within the color and shade restrictions of the window card and never have adjacent die of the same color or value. After 10 rounds, players score points based on the public and private objectives. The highest scoring winner is uh, gonna be person who will basically. Highest scoring artisan is how they put it. So you're all gonna have various objectives, such as trying to do things in a row. I will sleeve these as well, so check out my sleeve playlist as well. And just in terms of those objectives and not having a die next to another die of the same value or color, for example, that is where it gets crunchy. So bear in mind, if that is something you're after, this is the kind of game for you. Also check out my abstract strategy playlist as well, because I think that's very pertinent for that. But as you can notice, these do slide in here. So just quickly show you how this works. These slots slot in very nice. Like I said, that is something that Flood Game came, Flood Get Games came up with, slotting these things in. So there we are, a quick overview, like I said, more stuff coming to channel soon for Sagrada. Thanks for watching, but for now, back to the table.